This is morning prayer for July 10th. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Through Jesus, let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God, the fruit of lips that acknowledge God's name. The Morning Psalm 148 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his host. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, you highest heavens and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. He established them forever and ever. He fixed their bounds which cannot be passed. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters and all deeps, fire and hail, snow and frost, stormy wind fulfilling his command, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle, creeping things and flying birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the earth, young men and women alike, old and young together. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above earth and heaven. He has raised up a horn for his people. Praise for all his faithful, for the people of Israel who are close to him. Praise the Lord. The first reading is from Deuteronomy, beginning with chapter 31, verse 7. Then Moses summoned Joshua and said to him in the sight of all Israel, Be strong and bold, for you are the one who will go with this, this people into the land that the Lord has sworn to their ancestors to give them, and you will put them in possession of it. It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. Then Moses wrote down this law and gave it to the priests, the sons of Levi, who carried the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, and to all the elders of Israel. Moses commanded them every seventh year in the scheduled year of remission during the festival of booths, when all Israel comes to appear before the Lord your God at the place that he will choose, you shall read this law before all Israel in their hearing. Assemble the people, men, women, and children, as well as the aliens residing in your towns, so that they may hear and learn to fear the Lord your God and to observe diligently all the words of this law, and so that their children who have not known it may hear and learn to fear the Lord your God as long as you live in the land that you are crossing over the Jordan to possess. When Moses had finished writing down in a book the words of this law to the very end, Moses commanded the Levites who carried the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, saying, Take this book of the law and put it beside the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God. Let it remain there as a witness against you. For I know well how rebellious and stubborn you are. If you already have been so rebellious toward the Lord while I am still alive among you, how much more after my death? Assemble to me all the elders of your tribes and your officials, so that I may recite these words in their hearing and call heaven and earth to witness against them. For I know that after my death, you will surely act corruptly, turning aside from the way that I have commanded you. In time to come, trouble will befall you, because you will do what is evil in the sight of the Lord provoking him to anger through the work of your hands. Then Moses recited the words of this song to the very end in the hearing of the whole assembly of Israel. Give ear, O heavens, and I will speak. Let the earth hear the words of my mouth. May my teaching drop like rain, my speech condense like the dew, like gentle rain on grass, like showers on new growth. <clears throat> 
For I will proclaim the name of the Lord, ascribe greatness to God, to our God, the rock. His work is perfect and all his ways are just. A faithful God without deceit, just and upright is he. Thanks be to God, the word of the Lord. Second reading is from Romans chapter 10, verse 1 through 13. Brothers and sisters, my heart's desire and prayer to God for them is that they may be saved. I can testify that they have a zeal for God, but it is not enlightened. For being ignorant of the righteousness that comes from God and seeking to establish their own, they have not submitted to God's righteousness. For Christ is the end of the law so that there may be righteousness for everyone who believes. Moses writes concerning the righteousness that comes from the law that the person who does these things will live by them. But the righteousness that comes from faith says, do not say in your heart who will ascend into heaven, that is to bring Christ down, or who will descend into the abyss, that is to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you on your lips and in your heart. That is the word of faith that we proclaim. Because if you confess with your lips that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For one believes with the heart and so is justified, and one confesses with the mouth and so is saved. The scripture says, no one who believes in him will be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all and is generous to all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. The word of God. Thanks be to God. Our gospel reading is Matthew 24 verses 15 through 31. So when you see the desolating sacrilege standing in the holy place, as was spoken of by the prophet Daniel, let the reader understand. Then those in Judea must flee to the mountains. The one on the housetop must not go down to take what is in the house. The one in the field must not turn back to get a coat. Woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing infants in those days. Pray that your flight may not be in winter or on a Sabbath. For at that time there will be great suffering, such as has not been from the beginning of the world until now, no and never will be. And if those days had not been cut short, no one would be saved. But for the sake of the elect, these days will be cut short. Then if anyone says to you, look, here is the Messiah, or there he is, do not believe it. For false messiahs and false prophets will appear and produce great signs and omens to lead astray, if possible, even the elect. Take note, I have told you beforehand. So if they say to you, look, he is in the wilderness, do not go out. If they say, look, he is in the inner rooms, do not believe it. For as the lightning comes from the east and flashes as far as the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Wherever the corpse is, there the vultures will gather. Immediately after the suffering of those days, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven will be shaken. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn. And they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call. And they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Praise be to you, O Christ. Our prayers for thanksgiving and intercession. Let us pray. Satisfy us with your love in the morning, and we will live this day in joy and praise. Eternal God, we praise you for your mighty love given in Christ's sacrifice on the cross and the new life we have received by his resurrection. 
Especially, we thank you for the presence of Christ in our weakness and suffering. The ministry of word and sacrament. All who work to help and heal. Sacrifices made for our benefit. Opportunities for our generous giving. Individual prayers of thanksgiving. God of grace, let our concern for others reflect Christ's self-giving love, not only in our prayers, but also in our practice. Especially we pray for those subjected to tyranny and oppression, wounded and injured people, those who face death, those who may be our enemies, the church in Latin America. Almighty God, you have made us in your image and crowned us with honor and glory. Shape us by your word and fill us with your spirit so that we may live as your beloved children and proclaim the good news of your saving love through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now let us pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Like good stewards of grace of the grace of God, serve one another with whatever gifts you have received. Amen. Bless the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Peace be with you.